So what is the effect of a sodic soil on structure? Well, sodicity caused by excess sodium uh, causes dispersion. And what's, what is dispersion? Well, it's where the clay platelets come out of, um, well, they lose their structure and they can float out into, into the soil water um, as individual clay platelets. And as a result, once they lose that flocculation, you lose soil structure. You, you end up with um, crusting, or for, for example, crusting after rain. Um, and in front of you there is a, a photograph um, of two heads of soil put into a petri dish, probably probably with distilled water. And you'll notice that on the left hand side you've got the dispersive soil you've got with the milky ring of clay platelets. Okay, so that's a that's a chemical problem. That's a sodium problem, and we need to fix that with a chem. That's a needs a chemical solution, and on a high pH, an alkaline sodic soil, that solution will most often be gypsum. The f and the right of the photograph is a non sodic soil but it is still uh, broken apart um, in the water but that is a different uh, problem that is slaking caused by um, low organic matter levels so slaking on the right breaking down into microaggregates on the left we've got dispersion caused by sodicity so on the right the slaking caused by low organic matter how, how do we fix that well, well by building organic matter levels on the left, a chemical problem, high sodium, we balance that with extra calcium in the form of gypsum.